computer manipulates information through a component called the arithmetic logic unit, or ALU. As its name implies, the ALU performs both arithmetic and logic operations. In this lecture, we discuss how we use multiplexers to select what operation the ALU outputs. The ALU operates by receiving data from the registers, and the control bits indicate what operation to perform on this information. The results of the selected operation is sent back to the registers. Suppose now that we want to implement an ALU that receives three control bits and execute eight operations. I have designed this ALU again so that when S2 is zero, we select to execute one of four logic operations, and when S2 is one, we select to execute one of four arithmetic operations. Based on the general specifications of this ALU, it will be simpler to create separate logic units and the arithmetic units. We will then design a circuit that will select the correct output based on S2. The details of the selection circuit are described in the multiplexer lecture. Since we know how to build a multi-bit adder, let's examine how to implement the addition operation. As you might expect, we can allocate the input bits from the register according to their relative weights, just like a normal addition operation. For the incrementation operation, notice that we do not use B, so we want the B inputs to reflect that. To add 1 to A, we could add 1 in one of two spots. However, because we are using modular design, and we want our design to be the same for every bit, it is better to input the incrementing one into the first carry in input rather than one of the data inputs. If we are using two's complement numbers, we can subtract a number by complementing each of its bits and adding one. To implement subtraction with the full adders, we would complement the B bits and add one through the carry in input. Finally, the subtraction and decrement operation can be performed by subtracting away the one that we added to the carry in input during the subtraction operation. Based on these examples, we can see that we can implement every arithmetic operation with our multi-bit adder circuit. In this situation, we always input the A inputs directly into the adder, but we change the B inputs based on the selection input bits. We will call this manipulated B input B star. Finally, we will alter the initial carry in input based on the selection input bits. To focus our attention, we're going to abstract the problem, and we now want to create a one bit arithmetic unit by designing circuit N. Since we want a minimal circuit, we will use a K-map to design circuit N. When both selection inputs are zero, we want the output to equal B sub I. When the selection input bits encode one, we want the output to be zero. When the selection inputs encode two, we want the output to be the complement of B sub I. When the selection input bits encode three, we also again want the output to be the complement of B sub I. By using the K-map, we find our minimal expression for the output. Now that we have designed circuit N, we need to design the initial carry in input C0. Again, we want to find a minimal solution for C0, so we will use a K-map. When the selection input bits encode 0, we want to carry in 0. When the selection input bits encode 1, we want to carry in 1. When the selection input bits encode 2, we want to carry in 0. When the selection input bits encode 3, we want to carry in 1. By using the K-map, we find our minimal expression for the carry in. Now that we have designed circuit N and our carry in, we can abstract these circuits to create our 1-bit arithmetic units. We can once again abstract from this set of 1-bit arithmetic units 
to create our multi-bit arithmetic unit that creates a portion of our ALU.